so I have yet another tack haul. So I know I've been having so many hauls lately, but most likely this will be the last one for a while, but um, yeah, don't hold me to that. But also, I don't know if you can see or not, but I do have my new sheet set for my last haul, so if you, yeah, I have it on my bed, it looks really cool. I love it, it looks really nice, and suits my room. So yeah, let's get started. Went to Horseland, I needed these things for a long time. So first off, I needed, really need a new pair of chaps. Um, not that there's anything wrong with my old ones. Um, and I still will be wearing them, it's just that I needed more than one pair because um, my old chaps have literally been in the wash for two months in the washing basket ready to be washed and they just haven't been washed yet just because I, we just have so much washing. I, it, I'm a family of six and we just go through clothes really quickly so um, I've been stuck without chaps for like two months so it's good to have two pairs and plus my old ones are the fake suede um, ones and I really wanted some um, synthetic leather ones because for one they look a, a lot nicer in my opinion and for two they're a lot easier to clean so I won't have, actually have to wash them as often. So I got these Saxon Equi Leather Chaps, um, hopefully you can see them. Um, they look really nice. I got them for $54 from Horseland. Um, and they're really nice. They're the Spanish cut. And they do actually go really high on my leg, like all the way up to my knee. Um, like to just below my knee. Um, they actually look like real leather. I had to actually check that they check the label to make sure that these were the ones I wanted to get. Because they look and feel exactly like real leather. They're really nice fleece on the inside. They've got the elastic uh, um, on the side and the zip on the back, so they fit really, really well to the leg. Um, on the bottom, they have this cool little like um, fake leather panel here, so that the elastic won't wear out under your shoe. And they have the um, clip. They do zip up the back, which is actually really nice, rather than zipping up the side, because um, they look a lot nicer. So that's these. I really like them. Um, and I might do a review on them um, after I've gotten some use out of them just so that you, you know you can see how they hold up and all of that. Um, and then I really needed a new pair of jodhpurs because um, some of my other pairs have just been really wearing out. The blue check ones that I had in my last outfit of the day video. <laughs> I wore them to riding that day and they came up with a huge hole in them so I did patch them but they're on their way out and a lot of my other judges are really on their way out. Okay so my camera just ran out of batteries and so I decided to switch over to my phone while I wait for that rather than waiting for that to charge because it will take a long time. So anyway as I was saying I got these black and grey Czech jodhpurs um, and these Dublin has like um, a brand new range of like jodhpurs it's got a new um, symbol and um, you can see here it's got like a new logo um, or like font thing <laughs> um, if you've been familiar with the Dublin before so if you are you know, near a horse land or something, go to horse land and check out Dublin, um, Dublin's new range, because it's actually really, really good. Um, so these were previously called the Dublin Superfit Jodhpurs, and now they're called the Super Slender Jodhpurs. Um, and I have had a pair of um, pull-on Dublin Jodhpurs about two years ago, or maybe a bit longer, in navy. Um, which were really, really good quality. Um, the only reason I stopped wearing them is I grew out of them, so because they were in Kids 14. Um, they actually, if I was small enough to fit into them, I could still be wearing them now. Um, and I think I had them for like two years or something. Um, but anyway, so Dublin's got a new um, range and everything. So here's the tag. 
just in case you're curious. Hopefully my camera is behaving itself and focusing. So I got these for $59.95 and they are 95% co cotton, 5% lycra. Um, these are, the reason I decided to, that I wanted to get these is because I did pay for these with my own money. Um, they, the material is very, very sturdy. It's kind of unlike my other Dublin jodhpurs. Um, it's just so sturdy and strong and thick. These will be so good in the winter. Um, so I'll just show them to you. So they are pull-on, so um, they don't have a Euro seat or anything like that. But Dublin does have a really nice navy and red Euro seat um, pair of pull-ons for the same price, which are actually really cool, so maybe I might save up and get them too. So these are the knee patches, and then as all the bizarre, they're just like that at the bottom. And they have another um, blue and black check, which is that, I think, maybe it's just blue and navy check. So in the pull-ons, they now have two really nice new um, check, and they have quite a lot of new colours, so really I'm very impressed. They've got really nice colours and new jodhpurs and breeches of different styles. Very, very happy. So go and check them out. Um, I'm excited to wear these. Um, very, very happy with them. Um, and then last but not least, um, I got these ones. My mum bought them for me because she's really, really nice like that. These are um, the um, Dublin Super Slender Full Seat, classic full seat jumpers um, in the coloured grape. Um, so again, they used to be known as Super Fit and now they're Super Slender. And so they've just changed their name. Um, so these are pretty similar to my, I don't think I have a pair here to show you, to my other Dublin full seat jodhpurs. However, they have made some um, changes which I am very happy with. So they look kind of the same around here. They have a new button um, design. And um, yeah, it's just one of those really nice ones. Um, the same zip pocket. Um, but again, the new um, little metal tab, um, it used to be, I think, um, just a really different font. Um, but what I really like is the full seat is really different. Um, if you have seen my uh, my job per collection video, which I might do a um, video comparing the new ones to the old ones if you're interested in that. Um, but the full seat is really different, so whereas the old ones, the um, full seat was sort of, um, the suede material sort of came above, this is sort of below, if you can see that, where the seam is. It's just really different, and I think they look really classy like that, and the, um, down on the legs, you can see it's like the same. So... These are really nice. I decided to get the grape colour. This also, they also have this colour in the pull-on and in just the plain knee patch. Um, and um, these were uh, $99.95. So not that cheap, but not that expensive as well, as well because they are very good quality. It's the same type of material as this. Very, very strong, sturdy. I've had multiple pairs of the... Dublin job, jodhpurs and they've always held up really well. The ones that I was saying had a hole in them were not by Dublin, they were by, um, uh, what's it called, Peter Williams. Dublin jodhpurs just help, hold up extremely well um, and they have a really nice colour um, navy of these which the full seat is sort of a lighter colour which looks really nice. They have some greys um, and then they're just the regular um, cream and black. Um, they just have a lot of really nice colours and also they have the Czech versions as well. So I'm super happy with these. Um, oh and I also forgot to say these also do have an inside pocket on them um, here. Um, but yeah, they look really nice. They've got the new um, elastic logo and they just look really cool. and. It's the first time that um, Dublin's had the purple in the women's that I've ever seen, so um, they look really cool.
Um, very happy with it. I think this is a really nice haul, short and sweet, but hopefully the camera wasn't too, too bad because, yeah, I had to switch from my camera to my phone, so hopefully that's alright. Um, just a quick update, Mason does have, um, well Mason is lame at the moment, he does have a bit of seedy toe, um, and so I have to give him penicillin injections night and day for five days, I'm getting the ferry out in the next few days, the vet came yesterday, um, he'll be fine and everything, but yeah, just a quick update, um, so I can't ride him at the moment, but I can still ride Monty, uh, although the weather is pretty bad, I doubt I'll be outside for longer than I need to be, but, um, yeah, that's that, I hope you liked what I got, um, maybe I might make a video, yeah, comparing the new Dublin to the old Dublin, um, very happy with it, again, if you haven't seen the new range and you live near a horse land, go, go ahead and look, um, and also if you're in Australia, you can, of course, order from the website, so I might put a link to the website in the description below if I remember. And yeah, I'll talk to you guys soon. Um, <laughs> love you and bye.